think of that as the Shreveport Bossier metropolitan area has been this big economic pond. What has happened is through BRF is you have this very large rock that has been dropped into that pond. And uh, what the size of that rock is the amount of spending that you see here on this particular slide. But when that rock hits the pond, it also creates ripple effects to the sides, the edge, all the way up to the edge of the pond. We did this for 2018 and 2019. Now again, 2018 was a year in which uh, the uh, LSU uh, Health Sciences Hospital there uh, was under the control of BRF. The numbers are extraordinary. They're very large. Now, if you look at 2019, next slide, please. The numbers come down because the hospital is not under BRF anymore, but the numbers are still very significant. But you think about it for a minute. If uh, the governor was to announce that he had a new unit coming to the Shreveport Bossier area, and it was going to create $91 million in new sales, $67 million in new household earnings for citizens, and nearly 1,300 new jobs, and $3 million new dollars in uh, local government taxes and fees, I guarantee you that would be on the front page of the newspaper above the poll, and it would be the lead story on the evening news at night. Because that $67 million in new household earnings is larger than the earnings of all the amusements, gambling, and, uh, and recreation employees in Caddo Parish. So it is a very significant number. Basically, what our data show is that for every 10 jobs directly created by one of the BRF units, there are another 11 jobs created elsewhere in the economy through the multiplier effect. You are very fortunate to have in your community uh, an outfit that is creating this level of economic activity. Three Force has been struggling in the event since 2009, and you know, things would have been much worse had it not been for the economic activity created by BRF. And so the future is what, what matters. So when somebody asks, you know, what does the BRF do? You can tell them in three words, we're going to start, we're going to recruit, and we're going to retain businesses. We're going to recruit small to mid-sized high growth companies with revenues between five and 500 million from across the country, country to re relocate or build new facilities in the Shreveport Bossier MSA, bringing new jobs, taxable property, payroll, and revenue. So these things might be small, but we believe that that it's going to bring a synergy to Shreveport like we've never seen before. And hopefully, when we start changing the culture and we start promoting these uh, these small businesses, that large companies will come.